So, Wendy, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Graco and all that you do uh, for the uh, industrial finishing market. I know you all have been around a long time. People, a lot of people know the name, but just in case people don't know all that you do, kind of give us an overview of that if you can. Yeah, so for finishing product, Graco has a full line of products that we offer, um, all the way from the paint kitchen to the spray booth. We have circulation pumps and supply pumps, both electric and pneumatic for the uh, paint kitchen. And we have accessories that go with them for fluid management, including agitators and fluid regulators. We uh, have proportioners, so for two component, three component materials, we are able to mix those together with our proportioners. And then, of course, in the spray booth, we have a wide variety of applicators, including a rotary atomizer um, and automatic electrostatic guns. Uh, we have manual electrostatic guns. And then we have air assist guns. And of course, today we're here to talk about the Stellar, which is our new air spray gun. Right, yeah, you are, like I said, you offer kind of from soup to nuts, everything that an industrial finisher would need with that. Uh, for, for again, I said, I, you just celebrated an anniversary in the industry, is that correct? Yeah, uh, How many yeah. years has it been? I've been with Graco for 20 years now. So um, really? the majority okay. of that is on the, well, it's all been on the finishing side. Uh, I've covered some other products too in other industries, but I've had finishing products the entire time that I've worked with Graco, uh, mainly applicators. So um, it's been a, right. it's been great to, to be there that long and to Graco. be immersed in the, the business for so long. Right, right. Yeah, let's talk about the Stellar. You you all come out with these uh, the, the two versions of it. I know one's, I believe, uh, like seven ounces, one's 14, one's really light. But really the focus of this, and I think it's really important, and I hear this a lot from shop owners who have a lot of painters, is the ergonomics of it. Uh, and, and you all actually, your equipment achieve, which I think is, like I said, the, the first in the industry uh, is an ergonomics performance certification. Uh, tell us, tell us about the product. I know you've got one there. Tell us a little bit about it first, all that it does, and we'll get into kind of the ergonomics of it a little bit. Yeah. So, um, so when we started the project, we really wanted to make sure that we built a gun that painters would be happy using. Um, we tried to build in ergonomics before, but we really wanted an outside company to let us know what we needed to do to have an ergonomic gun. I mean, we under our engineers understood balance and and you know, body shape and stuff, but we really wanted an ergonomic gun that painters would be happy to use. Um, so we engaged an outside company to help us with that. Right. I was going to say, did you, uh, what was the feedback like? Uh, like I'm, I'm, so, you know, when you design something at your baby, you think, you know, I know what I'm doing here, but what kind of feedback did they give you? On? Yeah, exactly. So our first step was to send legacy guns to the ergonomics uh, company and to have them evaluate those legacy guns and to tell us, um, you know, they, by evaluating them, I mean that they not only, um, they got painters involved with it, um, put sensors on their arm, wrist, shoulder, elbow, and um, really engaged from a statistical, what, what was comfortable for an operator, but also just interacting with the operator and, and asking them where they felt pressure points on their hands and, and stress on their muscles and, and which gun applicators made them feel good and which ones didn't. So um, that was the first step was to get that uh, results of that evaluation from them. And then the engineers took that information and built it into the spray guns. Like the number one thing we heard was uh, weight of the applicator uh, mm. and Hoses is a huge issue, of course, which we often don't think about um, when we right. design. We're focused on the applicator. We don't think about the hoses that go with it. Um, so having flexible hoses that move with the operator um, was, and lighter weight hoses, too, was really important for the project. So it wasn't just about the applicator, but um, about that, too. So we right. ended up yeah. building two different versions of the gun. One that was the lightest gun that we could possibly build. Like every <laughs> component on the gun was looked at. How can we make this lightweight? And then the the other, our Stellar line is is a standard to replace our prior line, um, just to, to have mm -hmm. both uh, applicators available because some operators prefer a standard one, so. Right, 
Right. Yeah. They'll, they'll do it. And like I said, I, you, you took that feedback from the certification company. And like I said, some of the users that were using it and, and, uh, and it really set that out as a goal. And, but how, I mean, how did you get it as light as it? Like I said, just around seven ounces, uh, just over seven ounces. Of yeah. The yeah. So, um, every component on the, the gun, um, this, this is the applicator. Um, every mm-hmm. component is, uh, a composite material or uh, material mm-hmm. that, could be as lightweight as possible. Um, we had a lot of history with uh, composite materials with other applicators and other aspects of our company. So we just made sure that um, those components are not only durable, but because uh, you don't want a gun that's gonna wear out quickly either. So we had to make sure it was durable, right. it wouldn't break, uh, but lightweight at the same time. So, um, you know, even from taking off like a, a knob down here just to make sure that it was lightweight because people don't necessarily use it and they can add it if they want to, right. but things like that. Right. Still though, you had to have the performance that you've been delivering right. for people, right? Had to have that's, that's the tr- right. The performance yeah, we had to, to have performance. Yeah. So it still had to be durable. Um, and also, you know, lightweight isn't everything with an applicator. It has to be comfortable in the operator's hand. So even if it's lightweight, if it's not comfortable when it sits in the operator's hand, um, that's a the big factor too. So um, we made sure it was well balanced, even though we were changing the materials and trying to make it lightweight. We had to make sure that it was very well balanced. Um, but we also built in uh, different things into the applicator itself, as far as resting areas for operators to um, mm. have to be able to put their finger up on the side to to get more control of the front of the gun when they got tired. Right. Um, on the trigger here, we have a little ledge, and we had a 20-year um, veteran that we handed this to, <clears throat> didn't say anything about the trigger design, and he immediately lit up when he felt this ledge here because he had a place <laughs> to rest his finger that wasn't on this moving needle up here. So um, right. it was wow. really fun to see a, a veteran like painter recognize that and, and get really excited about something small, right. what you, we consider small. You knew small, you were onto something. But right? he considers you you were big, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Well, you know, I was going to say the whole point is trigger control, right? You you, you, it, you know, anybody doing any job is going to get fatigued, the repetitiveness of it. At the end of the day, uh, it's got to be, like you said, it's got to limit fatigue of the hand, uh, the muscle, uh, you know, don't say muscle pain, but just the, it, it's got to make, you want them spraying in the sixth hour as they did in the first hour, if that's, right. if that's the case, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, painters are artists and, and they have to be perfectionists too. You don't want your wood cabinet to not be as perfect if it was made at the end of the day as the one at the beginning of the day. So, right. um, so right. it's really important to make sure that we give a painter a, a tool that help them uh, have a perfect product at the end of the day too. Right. Yeah. That's why I always go to the doctor first thing in the morning. You don't want to be tired. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, good, right, good advice. Right, you want to, yes. Good advice. But, you know, it's funny. A lot of your, some of your team members actually, uh, tested this out by going into, you know, a, a facility and, and working and taking over, right? Take, right. And, so, and, and doing that and really experiencing what, what's happening, uh, with correct. this. What was that yeah. like? Yeah. So, you know, our, our engineers go and they talk to, to painters, they are in the spray booth with them, just interacting with them and watching them. Um, but they really couldn't understand until they got into that spray booth what it felt like at the end of a day um, of spraying, the fatigue that they'd feel on their muscles and and right. the the kind of pain points in their hand and and you know so until they did that. They didn't understand the importance of um, of the ergonomics and all of these things to be built into the applicator. And like I said, even the hoses, right. you know, they got to feel those right. hoses pull against them as they're trying to paint a product, right. you know. So and at the end of the day, that pulling of the hoses is a lot more significant than it is at the beginning of the day. Right. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And like I said, I'm sure you got some happy people. Not everybody's 21, 22 years old out there doing this. I mean, there's some people <laughs> yeah. that have been in for a while, like you said, and, and, and uh, like you said, it, it, they're, I think they're definitely going to notice the difference on that. Uh, before, before I forget, like I said, you, you you all offer a lot of equipment, not just the guns, uh, but uh, like I said, a lot of equipment for the industrial finisher, uh, like I said, meters, uh, mixing, uh, you know, the, the paint kitchens and and those type of things one thing i saw was that uh you also offer a spray booth and some automation is that something new or have you all been having that for a while or 
Um, we offer automation um, for robots just to um, have spray mm -hmm. applicators on the, the guns. Um, we have uh, proportioners that are for automatic applications. Um, so, yep, we've been moving a lot into the recognizing that automation is growing, um, moving right. into that automation world a lot more. Right, yeah, especially in the labor force market there is today where facilities are looking, could they automate that process? If it's if it's that repetitive and that specific, could they do it? And and that's something that I think of, I, I hear from a lot of shops that are saying they, they're looking more and more, how can they automate what they're doing instead of, you know, having somebody there doing it who like to say, who might become fatigued over time and everything. And, uh, and and I'm assuming your equipment, like I said, does work on a lot of, uh, or, or can work on a lot of robotics, or is it just a specific robotic that you all have? No, uh, it's uh, it's general so that it can fit on different robots. Um, it can fit on reciprocators or, you know, fixed stands. So we, we adapt it to, to work in a variety of applications. So, but yes, right. painters are difficult to find um, it's, and to keep because it's a, it's a difficult job. Right, right, exactly. And this may keep people doing it for longer. Like you said, if it's, uh, you know, not really wearing away on them a little bit and, 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 and you know, causing any issues with that. I, I, did I see that you guys had a, was it a boot camp you guys had a couple of weeks ago? Is that right? Is that? Yeah, we had, had, it's uh, training. Yep. We had uh, training. a lot of distributors in to, to learn about our products and go in depth with our products um, as we right. have introduced new products, but also to make sure they understand, you know, as we were talking in the beginning, we have a, full breadth of products and it's it's really hard to understand sometimes the the vast amount of products that we offer for different applications and and uh, how we fit into different applications right right great well i appreciate you taking time out and and talking about this like i said people can go to your website i'll have it on the in, in, in this article here then uh, people can go and take a look at it but yeah i'm sure you're going to see like you said some uh some uh, surprise looked on faces of how comfortable the equipment can be uh, after, especially for somebody who's been lugging. And like you said, the hose as well. I mean, they've got that connected and everything. So, uh, but, uh, but I, yeah, I was going to say, it, 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 you're going to have some pride and, and happiness with that a little bit more. It's very fun yeah. to see applicator or people, painter, anybody, when they pick up this, the Stellar Ace gun, um, the look on their face and like, wow, that's really light. So, um, right. so it's, it's fun to see that look on their face. So. Right. Great. Well, thank again, you I appreciate much. you joining us. Thank and you. And thank you very much for having me here today. I appreciate it.